G'day, this is Ozeko playing Space Rogue. I've uh, just jumped into a new sector. Let's see what we find in here. So, path, we want to get over there eventually, I guess. One of these is going to be another hyperspace beacon because the map says we can get up there somehow, unless you have to go around. Um, so, let's just try and visit everything on the way. Start with Rutera 10. Your scanner detects a lone Chax on a moon. What's he doing there on that lifeless chunk of rock? Let's go take a look. You find a Chax of slight build in a cave equipped, in a cave equipped for living in. He introduces himself. I am Groot. I wonder where that comes from. Listen to Groot's story. I was born weak and mistaken my genes, explains Groot. I cannot join the army. No female will even look at me. I decided to live here alone. I will always be an outsider. Give him money. Convince him that he's a fine warrior by having him fight one of your warriors. Who you first tell to throw the fight, offer him a place in the crew, kill him and clear out his cave. <laughs> Alright, Groot, you can come on. Groot shakes his head sadly. Thank you for the offer, but Groot will remain here. Well, all I could do was not kill you and clear out your cave. Alright, let's jump somewhere else. Let's take this Atar. You find yourself near a Chaxian space outpost. Several ships immediately emerge from it and are heading towards you. The Chax state they want to perform a customs inspection. They have the upper hand. Let them come on board. Fine. The Chax don't inspect your ship so much as raid it. They're clearly trying to provoke you, but you give them no excuse to start a fight. They leave empty handed. Assess the damage. Hull damaged. <laughs> Screw you guys. Alright, well, difficulty is high, but there's a very low chance of an event, whatever, let's have a go. That'll be the last one we can do until we get some more credits. Okay, so, a bit of green. Nice. Uh, a bit of red, let's just go for the yellow. Useless rocks. One tritanium. Thirteen, now don't blow up. No, already did them all. Fine, good. Got two. Two tritanium, thirteen credits. So, I'm definitely going to... Upgrade system. We wanted the weapons upgraded. Now, what would this do if we upgraded it? Probably just increase the number of slots. Do we have... No, only all weapons. So, we're going to upgrade the weapon system. Maximum energy plus one. So, both of our weapons at the moment only take one, it says there, type rocket energy one. Some of the weapons do take two. Uh, this one only takes one. So we can't actually do anything different yet, but I do want to upgrade. See what it costs next. I do want to upgrade the weapon system again. So it's going to cost 10 next time. Alright. Whoop, wrong one. Alright, jumping. Keep going to try to use the hotkeys from FTL. Let's go to Ufreon. Keep you find yourself near a large space station. The situation in the system is calm. Let's visit the station. The status station has a positive effect on cruise morale. You're just leaving the station when suddenly you come under attack from marauders that were hiding in the cargo hold. We will protect the ship. Now they're over there, are they? Well, let's chase him. Yeah, there you go. In there. Alright, well, we'll go take care of that one. And these guys can go in here. You can only fit three in there. You can fit four. Alright. Made short work of him, didn't we? Wallop. The attack has been successfully repelled. Your ship is safe. Let's gather the loot. Money and experience. Good. And Morgan Wynn is ready to level up. Let's just make sure... Well, they're already full health anyway. Alright, so the crew. We can't actually do any of them. He's ready to go. He's going to cost 100. These guys cost 75. This guy's going to be ready not too soon. Okay, we will jump. Yeah, what's the best way? That way, I think. A drow. Your course intersects the route of a vagabond robot ship. They immediately turn towards you and activate the weapons. We're going to have a fight. Oh, yes, we are. So, we will pierce their stinking. No, what should we go for? That's the computer core or something in it. Yep. Yeah do that and take out weapons immediately because we don't care about shields yeah, it's doing some hull damage well, let's go fix that 
Can I have a look at him? Still haven't taken his weapons out yet. So we'll just keep hacking away at them. Enemies use the overpowered shot, which does 60% more damage. Nice. He's taken down our hull a bit. Taking his weapons out now though. So we'll take out a few of these. He's got life support for some reason. Whack. Cop that. Alright, take out them. Why not? One more shot and he's dead. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt quite a bit. Teleport is broken. Yes it is, but we don't care. Dumb metal heads. Alright, 28 credits, 19 XP. Nice. Just take a few hits after they're destroyed. It's fine. Alright, these guys can just go get killed for the hell of it. And we are jumping to... Fukuri. Might be able to buy something at that um, space station soon. A robot ship intercepts you. Our scans indicate that you have our enslaved mechanical brothers board. Is this true? Respond. Let's just stack him. This is a good opportunity to test our combat algorithms. Oh, yes it is. And I'll tell you what. Let's have a look at you. Uh, we're going to take out this just to keep you away from your weapons room. Let's see shooting at us. Cool. Took the shield down the chunk. Alright, he's already got his weapons down, so let's change that. Let's go for engines and let's say life support. Maybe they'll want to go fix it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe they'll just die. Salvage the wreckage. More crap. Alright. Low chance of a thing. Yeah, we got the the what credits now. So we got the scrap. Got the credits to go, so why not? Do some greens. Useless, but we can try again. Unstable, not good. It's a trap. Two titanium. All right. Don't really want to risk doing one more, but we will. Yep. Fucking lost it all. Lost all mining results and got hull damage. That's crap. All right. I'm not going to take that risk anymore. All right. Let's jump to the store. I guess. Why not? Military base. <clears throat> what are these guys? Zolsa, the warrior. Pola, the warrior. Didn't say what um, race they are though. Matthew Olivet. Alright, what do we got here? More missiles, more assault cannons, small laser, it's crap. Didn't pick up anything we want to sell, so we'll just do a full repair. <clears throat> and that's all we can do. So, jumping to that other one. Capra, harmful radiation. It's going to start fires. It's not nice. Scan the system several times right after your jump. You find some tritanium nearby. Well, we'll try that. Quite low difficulty. Alright, let's go for green. Eight credits. Let's go yellow. Unstable. Crap. Go green. Useless rocks. Uh, let's keep it symmetrical. Useless rocks. Well, that was a complete waste of time. Got eight, and it only cost us 20. All right, let's go over here. Senat. Your course intersects the route of a vagabond robot ship. They immediately turn towards you and activate the weapon system. You're going to have a fight. Yes, we are. So, we'll pierce their... What did we go for last time? Over there. And take out his weapons. Try and hurt his guys on the way past. No. Shields are getting down. We haven't taken any hull damage though. That's good. I'll send these guys back. Don't want them standing in the med bay. So one of them missed. What's he actually firing? Small swarm pods. Yep. Damage to shield 150%. Hmm. 
does 10 damage every 10 seconds. But not if we take him out, I guess. Alright, let's make him worry about these. So we'll keep one on the weapons. Good teleport over there, looks like he's got life support. Oh, he's dead now. He got a shot off though. Salvage. Yep. Alright, we better upgrade somebody. Let's go for... Yeah, we'll go for an engineer. Level him up, what does he get? Extra health, extra damage, extra firefighting, extra repair, extra breach repair. So now he is 113 health compared to 94, 2.4 repair, 12 breach. Not much, I guess. Not a big difference, and firefighting is not a big difference. The repair is a big difference, though. Alright, let's keep going. It's got basically crap. Alright, we will go this way, I think. True artists. Jump completed successfully. No contacts. Tritanium detected. Well, we can't actually do it because we don't have the 20 we need. So let's keep going. Again, can't do it. Vonga. Automated patrol ship. Good. Kill him. Take out his uh, thing and fire on his weapons. And there they go, eventually got that and took him out. Took some whole damage then. Six. It's not nice. Let's make sure that stays down. Can't attack it. Yes, we can. Alright. Wasn't letting me click. So I get to start and do go quite badly. Alright. Doesn't want to run properly. Why oh, he sent off his guy? Sent his guy to die, I should say. The identification system sometimes fail. Yes, we've been told that before. Alright, let's go. Crew member is ready for leveling up. Yep, no worries. Get out there. Wrong one. Alright, jumping on. We're there. Let's just head over this way. Oh, that's going to be the jump point. The beacon. Directly ahead, you see an automated repair station. You make a stop if you need to. Quick repair for that. <laughs> Bugger off. It only costs us like, I don't know, 20 or something. Hack it and repair for free. <laughs> You successfully hack the system or receive your repairs for free. If only that worked every time. Alright. Actually got it. I'll repair for 16. Continue. So, jumping to... Let's have a look. Natira. So there is no hyperspace beacon in this one. Going that way. The elder of a small planetary settlement hails you. We have a problem of ataxia in nature. We're a neutral planet, but they sent a landing party here. We unfortunately need a negotiator. Sure. The Chax take the appearance of your negotiators as a sign of aggression and attack. Your team suffers losses and retreats to the ship. That's crap. We've lost the Chax, so of course. That's fine. And I need to get over there. Alright. Let's jump away. I'm not going to waste scrap, not scrap, credits on the mining things when we don't have much. Discover a small camp on a nearby planet. Most likely an archaeological expedition. There are some ancient ruins nearby. The scanner shows that camp is empty. We'll land. What are we going to lose? Camp is in order. All the archaeologists things are still there. And there are no signs of conflict. Where did everyone go? You know, it's a path leading towards the ancient ruins. Yep, let's go lose somebody else. You find yourself in the center of an imposing dome-like structure. Directly ahead of you is the statue of some ancient deity. It's made of a bluish-black material which glimmers with mysterious lights. You can't take your eyes off it. It's as if it's full of stars. The statue beckons you closer. Here we go. The air around the statue changes. You see an unknown part of the cosmos. Unfamiliar stars. A sudden strike knocks you off your feet. One of your crew members shoved you away from the portal before you fell inside. The portal slammed shut. Not everyone was as lucky as you were. Yeah, what a shock. We lose someone again. You lost a level 3 human engineer. Of course. Lose our best guys. Fucking awesome. Alright, let's keep jumping. Where are we going to lose guys next? Mayama 7. 
A9 the slaver ship intercepts you. Give us one of your crew if you want to save yourself and the rest of them. Oh, fuck off. Lose three people in three jumps. But since you are no, still feckin' robots. What's with the robots in this? No, well, not star system. Galaxy. Alright, take that out. And then just destroy this crap. And he's got missiles too. Actually miss with his missile. Yeah. Alright. That's his other thing. Laser. Every five seconds. It's fine. Getting a shield now. But he's dead. Okay. Scan the wreckage. Get some stuff. Difficulty 8. No, screw you. Ah, oh, come on. Alright, jump. Two down there eventually. You find yourself in an empty system. There's tritanium present. No. Uh, continue on. To Pulea. Ship of robots intercepts us. You try to recite ship systems, but to no effect. Right, what was it? The ship of robots intercepts you and disables all your systems with a sudden ion pulse. The robot captain rumbles. The great random function will now decide your fate. Pathetic meatbag. The robot screeches. The great random functions orders us to rob you. Your ship's still defenseless. You have no choice. Well, yeah, we do. Fight them. Dumbass. Is he going to rob us? Ah, <sighs> stupid. I mean, these things just make no sense. They're going to rob us, and we're not going to fight back. Because, apparently, once they board our ship, we can't see them or something. I don't know. Six credits. Don't care. It's crap. No. Lost them again, anyway. There we go. Alright, what else? Save drill for use. Let's try this one. Use the strikes. Awesome. Alright, so we got one. And we're going to jump the hell out of here. Sector 3, let's call it. Yep, jump. Alright, so this is supposed to be a higher difficulty according to this map. Difficulty 2 in my boob. Difficulty 2 there. Alright, how are we going to get around? That way. Ultra 9. You receive a message notifying you that the son of a family of rich industrialist has gone missing. The one who finds him will get a significant reward. Yep, we'll go get him. Set a new course. Not that we actually have to. Let's jump to... So he's over there at the exit. Alright. Ocleron. You find yourself surrounded by Chaxian ships. I'm the commander of this brigade. I challenge your strongest warrior to hand-to-hand -hand combat. If he wins, we'll let you pass. Can we just fight him? Like, seriously? Accept the challenge. Your warrior puts up a good fight, and this angers the Chax. With a sudden twist, he puts an end to your warrior once and for all. Oh yeah, of course. Our warrior was the only engineer we had left, not one of our two frickin' warriors. Why would you send a warrior to fight, you dumbass? Alright, it's a skill year two. Who are we gonna lose here? You made a ship of robots, they're hunting for resources, take you for easy prey. Yeah, well, let's go. Kick them in the nuts. What's with all the penis shaped ships around? Alright. Shield damage, no hull damage, that's fine. Oh, here it comes. Four hull damage. No worries. This guy's an awesome firefighter, I bet. Firefighter 32, yeah. Uh, you guys are gonna go repair that, because, you know. Repairing must be your job, but fighting isn't. Fighting's an engineer's job. Alright, that's gonna take him out. Got him. Nice looking missile. Salvage the wreck. Okay. Let's pause it, see if we can jump away. Alright, so this costs more to have a look now. Well, we're going to do it, because we need it. A ship emerges from hyperspace and shoots down your mining drone. Well, screw them. Well, let's do another fight then, just as this missile is going to hit that we're going to jump away from. Um, let's 
punch that and get these guys. Then we'll take some fire damage. Which one of them is better? Firefighter 15, 14. So the is that guy checks. I don't know. Send him over. Well, shields are down. Life support is back up. Go fix the weapons. <clears throat> Take a lot. You go over and fight him. See how Vox doing? He has a life support system. No, yeah, screw it. Let's get over there. Who cares if our guys die? We'll just save them getting, I don't know, killed randomly. Alright, they're going to teleport to the room that these guys are in. Stop them fixing it. See their health? That's his. What's mine? I can't see mine. No idea. Which one's health is which? What if we run away? Alright, so ours is getting low. He was the one with like nearly full health. Oh. Automatically teleported back. Oh, crap, didn't notice the life support was out. Okay. So, well, if life support's out, we are going to instantly repair it. These guys need a med bay. Catch him, just go in there. Alright. That's fine. Let's jump. Harad. A ship with a robot crew approaches you. It broadcasts a message on a poor signal. Meatbags, kill today zero. Error, error, correction. The robots aim their weapons at your ship. Oh, good for them. It's supposed to be a chack sector, but let's just fight robots endlessly. Um, computer core, yeah. And weapons with the missiles. Main computer's already out. What's he got? That's the big prototype. Taking whole damage from his um, swarm pods, I guess. Still got a shield up. What goes through the shield? Supposedly nothing. Oh, well. does damage to shields. Isn't it supposed to be going straight through them, right? Yeah. Right, guys, everyone just fix those. Got him. Alright, salvage the wreck. Piercing missiles. Alright, what do they do? Um, ship cargo. Piercing missiles. Take two energy. So we can load this now. Every 20 seconds, they only do six. They cause a lot higher breach chance, I think. Yeah, 40% instead of 5%. I think we'll stick with the missiles we've got because reasons. Same amount of damage and shorter cooldown. Looks like the piercing missiles don't have a clip though, like the regular ones do. Hmm. So the only thing they do is a lot higher breach chance, so it would probably be good. I'll we'll actually do one. That's fine. See how they go. Now, I can't upgrade anything. Crew, we can now. Let's upgrade this guy, why not? So the thing is, if your captain dies, you automatically lose. So leveling him up to get maximum health would be a smart move, I guess. All right, let's get jumping. To Troatus. Near the jump point, you see a pirate attacking a merchant vessel. You ain't seen this, friend. Here's a little payment for your silence. Yeah. Pirate offers you a bribe. We will... Ah, fuck him. 
not taking it. Battle stations. We will pierce his computer and kill his weapons. Let's have a look. Let's see firing. Medium laser and light blaster. Which aren't supposed to get through shields. Our shields went down somehow. Must have shot. Right now they're down a bit. It's more like it. Shields down completely. But his weapons are out. So let's start messing him up. Alright, should be a breach here. Nope, 40% chance didn't happen. And keep those weapons down. Taking whole damage. And the life support is out. So, go back on. The captain looks like a mad scientist. Oof. That's why we're taking whole damage. Bloody hell. Can't use the emergency repair because we just did. So, these guys better be pretty damn good at it. Let's see. 4.3, they are 1. Well, one of you better out of that. Captain's going in. Weapons are screwed. Alright, Captain. That needs to be fixed straight away. Should we teleport over there? I don't think so because we took down his life support. Yep, they got our engines, so we're going to die. You start doing that. Actually, I've got this. No, well, let's save that for the life support. Get over there. Yep, there goes life support. Bring it back on. Alright, come on. Keep his weapons down at least, seriously. We're getting absolutely wrecked. I'm doing crap damage now. Pierce the bastard. Our weapons are broken again, of course they are. Get back in the captain. What else? Computer room. Get out there. Alright, he's down to 17, we're down to 4. One more hit, we're dead. Can't jump out, wouldn't want to anyway. We'll just cop it. There it goes. Yep, 4.1 to the hole. I only have 4 left. So, defeat. Your ship explodes, transforming yourself into space dust. So sad. Went to 43 systems, 33 events. Didn't get to the final event. 855 credits, 583 XP. Only got 9 Tritanium. 4 was the top crew level, who then just wandered off and died or something. Gained 2 crew, 2 systems, upgraded. Destroyed 16 ships. Didn't feel like that many. Uh, 10 enemies crew killed. Probably just on those 16 ships. 9 planets mined. 317 space points. No score bonus. Final score, 316.6. Alright, so back to the main menu. What does that mean? I have no idea. Whatever this up here is for. I think it does something with when you start a new game or something. All right, well, hope you've enjoyed watching. I will be back again soon, possibly with this, possibly not. <laughs> See you soon.